Airtable versus Trello. Hi guys, welcome back to the Eminent HD channel. Today I am comparing Airtable and Trello to figure out how these platforms actually work. I will be showing you around their different features and their pricing as well. So let's get started. Now Airtable and Trello both are project management software. I will tell you how to use Airtable and then I will show you around Trello, how many features they have and how we use these different platforms. So firstly, let's check out their pricing uh, to figure out that how much these platforms actually charge. Let's check out their affordability. So let's go to the pricing of Airtable first. You can see this is the pricing for Airtable. There is a free plan which provides you unlimited bases 1200 record per base 2 gb of attachment per base great calendar kanban form and gallery views so that's pretty amazing and then there is a plus plan which is for ten dollars which is per seat per month if it's built monthly, then it's going to be $12. And this plan provides you 5,000 record per base, 5 GB of attachment, 6 month region of snapshot history, 1 sign table per base, automatic table signing. Then there is a plan which is called Pro Plan, which is the most famous plan of Airtable. And it is $20 per seat per month if built annually and $24 if built monthly. And it provides you a lot of cool features as well. For example, unlimited apps, 50,000 records per base, 20 GB of attachment per base, one year revision and snapshot history, personal and locked views, field and table editing permission. And then there is an enterprise in which you actually have to customize what features you are looking for and then that will determine your pricing. Let's go to Trello and check out their pricing. Now this is the pricing for Trello. Uh, now the free plan of course zero dollars, unlimited cards, unlimited members, up to 10 boards per workspace, unlimited power ups per board unlimited storage 250 workspace commands custom backgrounds unlimited activity log assigning and due dates that's a lot of features for a free plan and then there is a standard which is five dollars uh, per user per month if built annually and six dollars if built monthly now again unlimited boards unlimited storage 1000 workspace command runs per month single board guest that's good then there is a premium plan which is ten dollars and it is twelve dollars if built monthly monthly and then there are dashboard views timeline views workspace table views calendar view map view admin and security features collections observers saved searches priority google app and simple data export there are a lot of features here and then there is enterprise of course which is they're saying the price that they have given like the features they're saying this one will be 17 dollars but enterprise means that you can actually customize your features and then pricing will be accordingly so yeah when when it comes to the pricing well as compared to Airtable Trello is cheaper than Airtable but when we look at their pro plan which is $20 and the enterprise plan is yeah of course Trello is cheaper than Airtable actually we get from the pricing but both of them are actually providing a lot of cool features in not much pricing the pricing is reasonable for both of these so let's go to the features of these different platforms and let me show you around how these platforms actually work now the basic difference between a table and trello is trello is for small businesses it is good you can use it for big businesses but trello is mostly used by freelancers and individuals but when it comes to airtable airtable can be used for big businesses as well and then when it comes to the views of course you get boards and you get tables in Airtable as well and you get lists and boards in Trello as well. So let's check out Airtable first and then I will show you around Trello. Now this is what Airtable looks like when you sign up. Now the sign up process for both of these is completely free. You get the free version. We just signed the pricing as well. There is a free version and the sign up process completely easy. All you have to do is just log in with your Gmail account and you have your own workspace. So this is what the Airtable looks like. So this is untitled right now. Let me name it. So I'm going to name it Eminent HD. The color of this workspace, I'm good with this one. 
then if I want to add any logo, I can do that as well and it will be saved. Now you can see this is what my workspace is called. Here I can actually, you know, go to and check out all of these different tables. This is the table one. So if I want to rename the table, let's just rename it and let me call it imminent tasks. Now I have added this. If I want to add another table, I can just simply create an empty table as well, which will be table two, or maybe I can call it tasks two. So what will happen is now I have two tables. This one is the first one. And this is the second table. Customize the first one. Okay, this is the table. This is the grid view. If I want to get another view, for example, collaborative view, I can go ahead and do that. If I want to edit the view description, let's edit the view description and add tasks to be done just very randomly save description uh, now this is the description for my this table now if i want to add any task i will simply click here and i would just simply add there you go this is the name of the task okay so i can add notes right here let's just say keep it original okay after that if i want to attach something i will just simply click on attach and i can drop any file right here on task right here and i will just simply click on plus and add the attachment and then there is a status now for the status you can see they have created these three like customized one to do in progress and done if i want to add another status i could just simply go ahead and do that as well so for now i'm just gonna you know go ahead and add like in progress or maybe if i want to change the status i can go to done and i'll be like okay this task has been done if i want to add another thing for example there was name notes attachment and status uh, let's just say i want to add checkbox there you go create field now you will see that this will be the checkbox for my tasks and here people can actually you know come and insert then if i want to add another i could just simply go ahead and add another field right here you can add as many fields as you like and as the view of a table you can see that this looks like spreadsheet right you can see the view how we add things here so this is actually pretty good and then if i want to you know change the color i can change the color of any of the tasks right here and i can just simply go ahead and do that so let's go to trello now and let me show you the basic features of trello now so what happens on trello is that this is what the workspace that i just created after you know signing up you have actually different uh templates that you can select from so let's go with this template which is called project management once i will select this template i will be able to add my boards on this template you can see this is the view for this template and they're saying this is what it will look like and i think it's pretty good so let's create board from this template and name it there you go and create okay you can see right here that this is the board that i just created so you can see right here that they have created these lists which were already in the template i'm not gonna go with these so i could just simply go ahead and archive these for now or you know i can go ahead and add different tasks they had already created i can go ahead and customize them according to me so this is what you get in the template so if i want to add another list i will simply click on here and i will be like okay these are the videos and i will add a list right here so this list has been created if i want to add another i will simply click here now i can add different cards into it for example in this card i can just say video one add another card which can say video two if i want to you know customize this card i can go ahead and add it the labels for example this ad is a priority and then i can save it after that if i want to edit it more i can just simply go ahead and change the members for this one and i'm going to add another member in into this and i will simply click on okay now you can see that this is how it actually you know works how you add different tasks into your trello super easy to use you get these different card views and board views if i go right here and if i want to you know check out in other views for example you can see that these are actually available in the plans you will buy a plan you can actually get timeline table calendar and that dashboard and map so you can see right here that if i want to add another task i can do that now you can see on trello you actually don't see 
the number of tasks you are doing. And when it comes to Trello, I told you that it's beginners friendly, pretty, pretty easy to use. You use it, you create boards, you add different lists. But when it comes to Airtable, Airtable is also beginners friendly, but you have to have you know, some sort of knowledge about it as it comes to, you know, being a little professional and updated, then I would say Airtable is more updated than Trello. And of course, when it comes to the automations and integrations, the option for automation on Airtable is available. You can see right here, create a custom automation, send a weekly digest post on Twitter, send a Slack message, create a new record so you can see right here from the look of these different features for example trello does not have these option of automation so when it comes to automation you just saw that there's an option of post to twitter now this option is not available on trello and most of the project management softwares they do not provide such options send a message on slack it, it's a kind of an integration of course integrations can be done on trello as well but when it comes to you know being a little updated and fast i would say that airtable is in automation i think this point actually goes to airtable it is good in automation so add an app i can simply click on add an app in Airtable, and i can actually integrate any of the app that i want to you just saw i can add actually slack or there are many apps that are by Airtable as well just scroll down and you get all of these different apps that you can actually integrate into your Airtable. So that's pretty good. That will actually help you get your workspace more managed and it will be more upgraded as you will add more apps into it. So when it comes to Trello, you can see this is the workspace. You can have more than workspace, of course. So if I go to the automation of Trello, you can see this is the automation for Trello rules, buttons and email reports. You can see the automation options for Airtable were much more than automation options on Trello. You can send emails, of course. So that's pretty good. The automation is okay -ish on Trello. And if I go to show a menu, then I can actually go to different features as well. For example, when it comes to, you know, customization, you can actually customize your Trello as well. If I go to change background, let, let me just show you around that you can actually change background as well. It's super simple. Let's just select any of this. And now this image will be added in the background. So yeah, when it comes to customization, you can actually customize your Trello very easily. And there are a lot of options. And you can actually, you know, create different boards with different workspace. And you can, you know, jump from one board to another very easily. When it comes to start, there are different start boards as well. If a project is more important, and then other you can actually start that project on trello Airtable, you get grid form calendars gallery timeline so this is pretty amazing the features on Airtable are pretty cool it has a lot of cool features as compared to trello and trello also has a lot of features it has a grid view also it has a board view it has listings and you know when it comes to you like working with a lot of colors and working in a creative environment then i would suggest that you can see Airtable. it gives a very cool vibe i personally you know would like to work in a creative environment but it totally depends on you trello is also very perfect professional and well as Airtable both are pretty professional upgraded and have a lot of integrations have boards for you where you can actually you know manage your work very efficiently so yeah guys i think this brings us to the end of the video and i showed you around Airtable and trello i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to figure out that which of the platform is better for you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel